Hey, hi Trisha, how are you doing? I'm doing really great. I think you know both of us. I'm Kushbu and I'm your math educator. And I'm Kriti. I was teaching you chemistry. So first of all, Trisha, it's a beautiful name. What's yeah. the meaning of your name? Uh, actually, my name originates from a Bengali word and it means thirst. And I think it's her desire to score so well that you were able to ace your exam. And we would like to congratulate you on your big success. Yes. So, Trisha, I know that it's an amazing feeling that you got, I mean, hundreds and almost all the subjects. So, how does it feel? Like, how do you perceive your success? Uh, I mean, it was definitely unexpected. Um, I it, I would say it's like a collective success. The all the days that, that have been passed, the support of the teachers and mentors from Baijus and my parents, the friends, all of them, they've contributed just too much that it turns out to be a collective success. So, yeah, that's how I perceive this moment to be as. That's great. There were so many people to support you in your journey. That's nice. So we have got a lot of questions for you. So uh, pretty much questions you... are popping in our head right now. We want to know so much from you. So Trisha, first of all, you know, this this success is not possible without a strategy. So I'm sure you must have had some strategy in mind while studying, while preparing for the exam. So what was your strategy? Because that's like a secret right now that everybody wants to know. I mean, uh, the only secret is to follow a pattern and make it systematic. Uh, we had a gap between our 9th and 10th grade and um, you know like most of the students my 9th grade did not go that well because everything turned out to be online suddenly uh, but you know during that gap I tried to make an early start and that early start helped me cope up with the syllabus a bit earlier. Uh, my usual pattern was to you know first go through the NCRT because NCRT covers up like most of the basic concepts that you need. Uh, plus, I'm a Baiju's premium student as well, so I had Baiju's package with me. So I used to solve uh, science and maths from there, and then I turned out to look for any refreshers. But this was like my general pattern I followed, and it proved out to be systematic and did not give me you know any last minute reason. Well Kriti isn't it amazing hearing this from a student I mean just a 10th grade student that she she said that she did not do so well in 9th but still she did not give up. Yes. Right? No wonder she is a motivation and inspiration for yes. many many of the juniors to come. So Prisha like who inspired you for this like who was your inspiration? I mean the biggest inspiration would be my mother because uh, as I said, after my ninth grade, I was not very confident. And uh, apart from all the downfalls, it was my mother who I turned out to for, like I searched for her every time. And she was an emotional pillar as well for me. Apart from that, the teachers, like even though everything turned out to be online and sometimes even hybrid, the teachers helped me cope up just way too much that it did not feel like I was alone in this journey. So these people would be my biggest inspiration at this moment. So they, basically, there were so many challenges that you came across, but still you were able to cope up with them just because your mother was there with you. Your mother, your teachers. Yeah, so that's mm -hmm. nice. All in all, you got a right balance, you know, at home and here at Baiju's because, you know, emotional support was constantly there yeah. and we yeah. were more than happy in extending our support here at Baiju's. That's great. That Trisha has shared here is that we have to be consistent in, in practice, right? And I think this is something that we tell students every time as well, that consistency is very important. So I think that's a piece of advice for all your juniors out there. That you know, early start and constant, consistent yeah. practice is the key to success. So, how do you feel that you know Baiju's has helped you as a company? Uh, so, I was a Baiju's premium student since grade nine, and I was definitely you know quite engrossed in my science and math studies because you know the visualization, uh, the way they're being taught there, it just adds on to your concept, it builds on to it because. 
nowadays it's not just about cramming stuff and presenting it on your paper it's more about understanding them and i had teachers in bijos who have you know entered inside a cell to teach me what each organel was so it made it way too interesting that was my journey till october of 10th just uh, around october uh, in last year actually just before term 1 I got to know I came across that Bajoos now has a channel in class 9th and 10th and I came across you all <laughs> the teachers I followed Kriti ma'am Prishpu ma'am and Tarna ma'am for SST and I had Saurabh sir as well so I followed you know live streams I saw a few of them then after a while I got to know about the concept capsules which were like you know summarizing each concept uh, quirky way but you know very time efficient and then i came across these experiments which were there easily available on youtube shorts so all of them made it very interesting conceptually so by term 1 i was you know mentally ready that i can ace this exam because i'm conceptually prepared so byjus at that phase helped me a lot Oh, isn't it feels great hearing this yes, from your yes, students? Yes. I mean, it's actually a kind of motivation for us also. Yes, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. So coming from you, I think this means a lot to us as well. And yes, the main part is she was so confident with the yes. concepts that you know before the exam she didn't really feel scared mm-hmm. of the exams. So that is really really great. So I think this is very important that first of all we should believe in ourselves, right? Yes. All right, Prithvi. So I think we have talked a lot about the studies and all. So, like, apart from studies, what are your hobbies? What else you like? Yes, to do? interesting question, Prithvi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, apart from all the studies, sometimes I did get stressed out. So hobbies were like the only way I was able to de-stress myself. Um, I'm a classically trained dancer, so I used to dance as well. And oh. when we were at home, it was a stay-at-home moment. So I tried to learn a bit of languages, two or three extra languages. Plus, um, I love listening to music. It's <clears throat> I actually love listening to lo-fi genre. It helps me relax a bit more. And if I ever got time, I used to paint things. So all of them, you know, helped me decoagulate my mind and made it less chaotic. Really interesting yeah. all these. One thing I think uh, these days there are a lot of distractions are there for the students. I think students also ask us a lot many times. How did you like uh, you know keep yourself away from the distractions? You never get distracted with like mobile phones, social media, and all all these things. I mean, I did at one mo- at one phase of my life, but at the end, it's all about your goal. Uh, when i was distracted at any moment the one thing i wanted to remind myself again and again was like why am i even doing this at the very first place uh, there is a specific goal that i have to follow and if i not uh, there has to be an extra edge as a student and that you know motivation is sometimes required to get over all these distractions because at the end it's your career that you want to deal with so that helped me uh, not get distracted uh, too much but i did get distracted at one phase but then again it's all about self control why is why are we doing something if we remember our why yeah. then how to achieve that is yeah. kind of easy for us it's like that you had a goal in your mind you were so focused you were so determined but it's just that you have to plan for it and trisha did, did that so well perfect planning yeah perfect planning <laughs> absolutely Yes, absolutely. So you've come so far, and you've got great marks. But I'm sure you have certain goals for future as well. So what are your future goals? Uh, I've taken and I've chosen PCMB as my stream for 11th, and I know I've been warned that it's a very vast subject to study. But I wish to pursue biotechnology. Uh, I want to pursue research, especially, and it's something that I've always loved. I'd love to study about genetics and human genome research, and I'm really inspired by all these um, research projects and position papers. So that's something which I aspire to do as well uh, in the research field for biotechnology. Exactly. Great. 
so i think trisha it was it was really amazing to have you here and it was such an inspirational and insightful interview and i hope that whatever you shared with us it's going to help the i mean the current batch as well but you know trisha this is this is not the end the interview might get over right now but we definitely have a reward for you as well because i think you definitely deserve that so from by juice definitely we are planning something big for you and yes that will be revealed really soon so our team will get in touch with you all and, and you know for other students also who did not who did not uh, perform so well i'm sure kujhu ma'am we need to say something to them as well yeah so like trisha said like in ninth grade she was not able to do really well but she did not give up so one thing which we can learn from her is never ever give up and you have to believe in yourself first that is the most important thing i would say absolutely so yes trisha we wish you all the best you know the trick you know the drill start early and practice i'm sure whatever you will want to achieve you would definitely be able to achieve that and our good wishes they're always with you we are super proud of you and we are really happy to have this interview with you right now and all the very best for your future endeavors thank you so much thank you trisha thank you trisha. take care